OK, so in this example, again, ladies and gentlemen, what they're asking us to do is show that these are inverses of each other. So therefore, the composition one way has to give us our identity. Remember when we talked about the identity of like putting on your shoes, taking off your shoes, right? You start with yourself, you do the function, you do the inverse function, you go back to yourself without shoes. Or sorry, you first put on your shoes, and then you go through the function taking off your shoes. You go back to your identity, which is x. And therefore, we also need to show that g of f of x has to also equal to x. So let's do g of f, uh, g of, f of x, which is basically meaning we're going to plug the g of x function into the f of x function. So that looks like this. 3 times x plus 2 over 3 minus 2. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this at the same time so you guys can see the difference. This is telling us to plug the f of x function into the g of x function. Do you guys see the difference of plugging one function into the other compared to plugging the other function into the other equation? Does everybody kind of see that? See the difference there? I really want everybody to visualize that. OK, now we just go ahead and simplify. And there you go. Confirmed. 